In this video today, we're talking about a partial nephrectomy or taking out a piece of your kidney, which is usually for cancer. Occasionally, there's some benign tumors that we have to take out as well, but we take out a portion of the kidney and then I just suture it closed. We used to do this open. It was a very tough procedure for patients. There was a lot of pain involved. They'd get admitted to the hospital for a couple of days. Now we do this robotically where we make five or less uh, little dime-sized incisions on your belly on whichever side of uh, the kidney or side of your body which kidney the tumor is in or the growth um, and patients go home same day or next day. Technology just continues to improve. This is something that actually led me into urology and my fellowship after my residency was in minimally invasive surgery with robotics in detail and a lot of that was oncology or cancer. So this is something that uh, I actually really like to do. The procedure is done exclusively in the hospital where they have a robotic system. These procedures take anywhere from three to five hours. It just depends on where that tumor or growth or whatever we're taking out of the kidney is located. We'll get you all set up for the procedure. We go in, we find the artery to your kidney because we want to make sure that we have bleeding control first because biggest risk from this procedure is going to be blood loss whenever we cut into the kidney and it's constantly filtering the blood uh, in our body we expect bleeding. So one way that we control that is we actually clamp the artery for the time that we're cutting out the tumor. And safely, we can clamp the artery for about 30 minutes. Most of the time, or majority of the time, when we cut out these tumors, it takes about 15 minutes. So half that time. In doing so, we spare the kidney tissue and you still have all that good kidney tissue once we take out the bad portion. Once we take out that bad portion, we'll suture everything up, close up your belly with these little incisions. At that point, we admit you to the hospital for again, just recovery, waking up, getting used to the little pain that you're gonna have from the poke hole sites and possibly on the kidney. Some of my patients go home some same day. The other patients stay overnight. It's about 50%. From there, afterwards, recovery is really looking at about four to six weeks. It's not necessarily healing up from the procedure itself, but I just don't want you doing any heavy lifting, anything more than a gallon of milk, because I don't want you to pop out hernias out of the little poke hole sites that we made where we accessed it with the robot. Bleeding or blood in your urine sometimes can be normal. Biggest risk or complications with this first one we already talked about is bleeding. Whenever we cut into your kidney, we wanna make sure that we have good blood control. If for some reason during the procedure, we couldn't get control of the bleeding, we actually just end up taking out the whole kidney. Now, I've never had to do that up to this point, but it's always something that I mention to my patients, and that's obviously for your safety. Second thing would be something like a urinary leak. A lot of times these tumors are really close to the collecting system, and so I'll cut out the tumor, and I have to make a wider margin so I can make sure I get all of the tumor or cancer out. But when I do that, I might get into the collecting system. We always close up this area, but there's always a risk that urine could leak out of that area and into the surrounding area in the kidney. If that were to happen, we'd go and put a catheter in you in the operating room. We put a little stent or a straw going from your bladder up to your kidney, and we divert that urine flow all the way out so that the area where the urine was spilling out of can close back up and heal up in your body. Occasionally, you even have to have a drain put in. This is not that common either. I'm just mentioning it to answer questions for you during this video. Finally, the last thing is we could have to potentially go back in to take out more of the tumor. I've only ever had uh, one, maybe two positive margins, and not all those are actually on cancers. Sometimes there's these big benign tumors that are hard to differentiate between where the tumor ends and the regular kidney tissue begins. But with the robotic system, there's a lot of tricks that we have, and that's why we don't see a lot of positive margins or tumors or cancer left behind. They have this fluorescent system that lights up the good kidney tissue green and then the tumor is usually kind of like a parasite. It doesn't have great blood flow to it, and so it doesn't light up as green, and we can tell the distinction between those two things. We also use intraoperative ultrasound, so I can mark out with the ultrasound where the tumor stops and where the good tissue begins on the kidney. Majority of my patients afterwards, again, are doing really well. Most of them go back to work within two weeks with restrictions of no heavy lifting. Four to six weeks, you're pretty much back to normal, back on your feet back where you're at and you can resume 
regular exercise and activity. From there, if this is for cancer and the pathology comes back and says it's cancer, you'll notice that we follow the NCCN guidelines or the National Comprehensive Cancer Network guidelines for screening to make sure we don't see any of this cancer recur or come back. A unique thing about kidney cancers or tumors, it doesn't respond very well to any sort of medication like chemotherapy and it doesn't respond well to radiation. So surgery is really it as far as trying to cure this or beat this cancer. And that's why we are very particular with this and take our time with this because we want to make sure that we get it right and uh, take care of your cancer for you. It's a lot to kind of try to take in. That's why we're doing these videos is to try to help uh, you understand more and to answer questions that you have. If you have further questions, please write them down, bring them, um, and we can discuss them further at the time of the procedure. And I look forward to helping you out and taking care of this problem.